Good morning. <laughs> right. We have a 1096. 10 minute game again, uh, unrated. Against someone rated 1096, like I said. And I've started with D4, because why not? Let's play a London system. Not played this in an age. Right, so we've got this Fianchetto bishop here. So this is like, um, this is the modern when he starts with, with that. Um, okay. Well, we can just proceed. I'm probably not going to push f4, so I can bring my knight out now. And let's just do normal kind of London-y things. Um, I can grab. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab c4. And put my knight behind the c pawn. No reason not to. He's not challenged the centre yet. Okay, knight coming in here, not a problem. Knight coming in there, not a problem. Particularly not now. I've developed my opposite knight. And these knights, when you develop them... Okay, they, they always control the same squares, as you can see. Right, I think I'm inclined to capture away from the center, no, towards the center. I've only just woken up, so you will forgive me. All right, now, he's looking at my bish. That is a good bish. If he takes my knight, I'm not bothered, I'll just do that. So I'm gonna drop my bishop down. I'm gonna castle short, okay. Now I've captured towards the centre again, so if you notice now, what was my B-pawn is now a C-pawn. What was my C-pawn is now a D-pawn. So he hasn't got a D-pawn and I haven't got a B-pawn, which means I've got much better control, but particularly over the dark squares. However, my bishop is also controlling the light squares, and that's one of the beauties of the London. It's, that it's quite tricky to get into. People give the London system a hard time, and I, I get that. All right, so I've got a pinned knight. Um, I don't want to kick the bishop unless I absolutely have to. Do I absolutely have to? No. I can put my bishop here or here. Now, a lot of people would instantly go kind of bishop back here to break the pin, but here it defends the knight as well. And if he wants to do something stupid like f5, I can just come back round. But he's weakened himself. This is something I'm starting to think about. I'm starting to play a bit less like a blitz player and more about building, 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 building before I strike. I think that I suffer a lot from premature attackulation. And, um, hmm. Looking at this pawn, but also this pawn. Should the king castle, that, that pawn will be undefended. Yeah, and interestingly, if you're a chess bootcamp live member, try and make my session tomorrow. This is Sunday. What's the day? 24th. Um, we're going to be working through a Capablanca game from the Chernev book, Logical Chess. So he's now, he's he has dropped this pawn. Um, but in this Capablanca game, it seems like White's doing nothing at all. Capablanca is just like, Duh, 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 moving his pieces around and then suddenly black's position just goes <laughs> like Jenga all right now do I take the pawn do I play rook a to b1 and just threaten checkmate all right so how do you decide between these two things well a free pawn is a free pawn and that also means this bishop is undefended and this pawn is undefended. Um, he might bring his bishop back here, in which case I can take either of the other two. But what I am doing is I am opening up lines, maybe for rooks, maybe towards my king. And the point is, if I play rook a, b1, I've got a mate in one threat that my opponent has to deal with, and I've still got this. I can still play that on the next move, so I'm going to play rook a, b1. You see? Still got this, still attacks the bishop. Now where's the bishop gonna go? It can go here. And that kind of traps me in a bit, but then I can capture here. But then what rook there? I guess I can take a pawn. There are issues here, so now I'm instantly just gonna play a4. Because 
This pawn is now the only thing standing in the way between my queen and checkmate. And he can't do anything about it. Right, so now he's lashed out. Um, so a lot of people would think, oh no, my bishop, right? Now, but what I'm practicing at the moment is going, okay, well, that's a move. Let's always find one more. So let's say I take here. Let's say they take my bishop. Let's say I take their knight. I'm attacking their queen. Right? I take. They take the bishop. Don't care. I take knight. Attacking queen. Queen takes pawn. It's checkmate. So I don't think you can take my bishop. I really don't. And this is the difference. This is the this is what I'm trying to work towards. It's quite a job to lift my cup of who's the daddy coffee. Okay. So free pawn. And then this is mate or this is mate. And how do you stop it? Answer is I don't know. Right there, mate. See, material, knights, pawns, bishops, doesn't matter. Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. So, I've got a checkity doodah here. King comes here, queen here. No, queen can take then. There, check. There with check. King can't retreat, has to come here. Oh, he can't. Right? So, king must come here. It's the only legal move, right? Now, if I take this, the king can't retreat, can't stay there, can't go there, and can't go there. So the queen, the only legal move, I think, is for queen to take my bishop, you see, because of this guy covering that square. Okay, queen takes bishop. And now... Um, right, I'm actually only a pawn up here. This will fall to bishop takes. Hmm. If I take king takes, I'm in a good position. My king is way safer than, than black's king. Um, I'm inclined to save the knight. I mean, there's no reason to get my pawns all messed up and stuff, is it? There, bishop must take. I recapture. Attacking the rook. Okay, now I, I have an option. I can take the queen first and bring the king out into the board. Or I can simply take the bishop and attack the rook. Um, so anything else I can do with my queen that's eviler? I don't want his bishop to take mine, so I'm going to take his bishop. I've got a feeling like I've let something go there. And I'm sure the analysis will tell me. That's a 3 minutes 46, so let's crack on. You can almost pre-move the queen recapture. But um, black being a pawn down... And with his rooks not quite engaged yet. Oh, 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 also this bishop is rapidly running out of spaces for itself as well. So he really needs to move this rook. And he's got four options. Hmm. The queen must defend this pawn. That's the problem. So if the queen trades, I've then got two pieces looking at that, right? Okay. Still faking up. Push f3, that just pushed the bishop back. Then I don't really have g4 because pawn takes and me. How uh, about attack of the queen? I don't have this, do I? Pawn can't take because it's pinned, but queen could. Doesn't it work? This attacks the queen. Now the queen can no longer defend the pawn. 
That will force a trade of queens, I believe, right? I'm attacking the queen. What if queen... No, queen can't take that, because bishop will then be looking at that. Okay, I attack the queen. He has to trade queens off. Straightforward. There's nothing else for it. From Kenya. And demo one. Hi. That's undefended, that's undefended. So there's nothing you can do. You can't go there, 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 there. Or there, yeah, you have to trade, exactly. All right, so we traded queens. Now I've got two attackers on here, so really what he has to do is rook c8. Then I've got this, I think, do I not? This pawn's pinned, cannot move. The king cannot progress, because I've got a bishop and a pawn side by side. The king may retreat to the back rank. I think it's time to bring my other rook into play. I may create myself some Luft or escape square. Or I may do this one. Now this one, see, if I push h3, this bishop then has the, you know, the run of the board. Right, he's done that, look. He's done that. Okay. Well, I think it's time to grab another pawn. Not because it's a pawn, but because it's in the way of Charlie, which is now a completely past the pawn. You see, there's no pawn here, here. No pawn on any of these squares that can capture Charlie. So there's no opposing pawn on an adjacent file. That's the point. Right. Okay. Um, pushing d6 makes sense. The thing I need to be careful about is back rank issues. First thing I'm going to... I'm just going to push f3. I'm calmly going to do this. Because it'll just drive his bishop back. One less thing to worry about. d6 is good. If I could push c4, c5 first, and then d6, if he takes, I take back. Then we've got bishop and pawn connected like that, you see. Okay. All right, that was a good move. He's played a good move. If I attack his bishop, pawn takes, the Bishop takes. Right, okay, so rook there to defend the bish. And Charlie, if I can get c5 in, d6 in, I think I'm all right. He hasn't got time, or has he, to... So there, 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 but then I just dive out the way with a discovered check and maybe win a pawn, so that's all right. So he can't go to the, either that or that square because he'd be in check, so he has to stay on the light squares. And that puts him in line of a discovery, so... There you go. Right, c5, d6 is coming. Okay. Um, push. Ah, push it. This move I do not understand. Okay, and now I can take... I, right. Options. I can take the pawn... Let's take with the bishop. And discover check. Because it's a bit sexier. King here, I should imagine. Then I can drop my bishop back to here. This is all fine. There is a skewer on the king and an undefended pawn behind. Alright, now I can go here. And my bishop and my pawn are together forever. Because the rook's not going to take anything. All right, now I've got to be a little bit careful here. Because this pawn is now kind of covering my escape square. So I'm actually going to take here. And I'm going to dive in with the king. He should have taken the pawn, really. Okay, so now... Oh, is that a mouse slip? Okay, I'm not coming here because of discoveries. Um, so now I'm going to maybe come here. Got, I've only got a minute left. Put my bishop behind there, maybe. There's nothing he can do. All my stuff kind of on light squares. So I'm going to put my bishop here. 
rook here, then rook to here. Might come after this pawn. I'm going to take that. Okay, I'm up three pawns, so I ought to be able to convert this, but I've only got a minute to do it in. Um, let's come after the rook. Just harass him. I'm not going to win this on time, this is the point. Might come after this pawn now. Yeah, because he's got no way of defending that pawn other than going there. Oh, no bishop can. Um, bishop's there, okay. I can push this, I can check. Check. Okay, you can take that, but not while he's in check, so I'm going to push this. Okay, push. Then I can push the pawn, no I can't, not while the kings and bishop are both looking at that. Okay, now I can push the pawn. Bring my rook here. Now his king is offside, his king cannot touch the pawn. Okay, this is alright. Come here. There. And come here. It's fine. Got to be accurate now, though. This bishop's busy defending that pawn. If he takes, I'll recapture. But I do now still have two extra pawns. And then my king, I think, can come around here. Now I'm pre-moving there. Okay, and this is this should now be winning for me. I come here. Now my pawn is going to dance all the way up there. And then we are going to have ourselves a king-queen ending. Okay, so it's him to move. I'll just get my bishop out of the way first. Okay, let's go. just want to reduce the box that the king's got. And again, we'll come in with the king. And again, knights move away from the king. And here. And here. The whole point is not to stalemate. He says, watch this. Reduce the box. You can go there again now. He uh, is all right. He's got these two squares. can't go there or there, so he's got to go on the back rank, and when he does, I'm coming here. But I'm not going to pre-move it, just to be sure. He's only got two legal moves, because the queen's covering these and the king's covering these. So we can only go there or there. So I know actually for a fact that I can put my queen here. Then I'll probably put my king here, and then the next move it will be checkmate. Looks like he's disappeared. That's a shame. Good game, though. So I think I could almost pre-move the end of the game, right? So if I like pre-move this, and he's going to go to one of these squares, right? So I go here, then the king has to go either to here, he's got to be on one of these, and then whichever one it is, I've got queen here, which is either mate, oh no, if he's in the corner it's stalemate, oh, okay. Hang on, so queen here, King here, King here. Yeah, I don't know if that's possible actually. 
but hey ho. Well look, job done, job done. Let's have a quick look at the review, see what I missed. Any blunders? And then we will ask the question, why did Black lose that game? Oh yes, two blunders. Wow, and that was almost losing. I went there. Which was a blunder, because why? Let's have a look. This is a check, right? You can go there, there. There or there. Your piece is undefended, so that... Oh! I hung my rook. And then here again, this is a blunder, right? Yes, it was kind of a blunder, but the point is, actually, that would have uh, that would have been better because this is check defended by the bishop. Then the king's only square is that, and then I can move to here with check and then force the trade without losing my pawn. So yes, good point, good point. And there we go. So there's a couple of things, you know, just little reminders. I know I need to look out for but then here what happened what happened at this point here he moved his king he should have taken the pawn right but if he'd taken the pawn I capture oh yes so he could basically force the draw is the whole point so he just sticks his bishop out of the way any time my pawn steps foot onto there he trades it off and then it's a king and a bishop against the king and that is a draw because you cannot checkmate with a king and a bishop Pah. Yeah, there you go. Look, just played somebody 400 points lower rated than me, picked up three decent lessons out of that. So all good, all good. Anyway, so hope that's been interesting for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you soon.